Hematuria is the presence of blood in the urine. This video teaches how to irrigate hematuria, removing blood and clots from the bladder. When blood clots block the bladder, they can prevent it from emptying, and this can be extremely uncomfortable, even painful for the patient. You will need to gather supplies. You'll want sterile saline or water, possibly a blue bowl or urine specimen cup, and a graduate cylinder to collect the irrigant. It's most efficient to use two separate catheter tip syringes and to have someone empty and refill for you. If the catheter is not in place, you'll need to place one. It's also important to have a catheter that's large enough to allow removal of the clots through its lumen. Catheters are measured in French. If a catheter is 24 French, dividing this by pi, 3.14, gives you the diameter. So the larger French, the larger diameter to remove clots. It's important to remove the cap from the catheter tip syringe in order to access the tip. The catheter is held in the bladder by a balloon. There's a balloon port identifiable by its push valve. Slip tip and lure lock tip syringes are used here. The drainage port is what connects to the drainage tubing. A wide nosed catheter tip syringe can be used to irrigate the bladder when we have hematuria and clots. Here you see the balloon being inflated. The balloon can be pulled back to the bladder neck so the tip remains in the bladder. If the catheter is pushed far into the bladder or into clots, then the drainage ports may not be able to drain. On the left, you see the catheter tip drainage ports are able to access a free area within the bladder. When irrigation is pulled out, clots can be removed. On the right, however, the bladder is not full enough and the catheter tip is pushed in. So when one tries to remove fluid, the tip of the catheter is just suctioning the bladder wall. To irrigate, sterile water or saline is placed in the syringe and used to fill the bladder. I will pull back first to make sure the bladder is as empty as it can be, then push two fresh syringes of saline into the bladder, remove one, insert another, all with some turbulence in order to stir up the clots and remove them. It's important to keep the bladder full enough that you can remove a syringe without hitting the bladder wall. Eventually you get relatively transparent urine with no clots. Depending on how clear the urine is, you can perform hand irrigation as needed or start your patient on continuous bladder irrigation. Once your patient has a nice clot-free bladder, freely draining, clear urine, you can start thinking about avoiding trial, catheter removal, and checking the post-void residual to make sure your patient is emptying properly. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.